I'm making these panels for a room that I'm setting up in my basement. It'll be acoustically treated. And for those of you that don't know this, uh, acoustic treatment is not the same as soundproofing. Soundproofing is a completely different thing. Acoustic treatment makes the room sound good when you're uh, playing music in there or watching movies or whatever. Like the rest of the room that I've already started working on, I'm gonna be making these from half inch plywood. I'm gonna need two sheets for the first two that I'm gonna build, and those will be on the front wall of the room. But before I do any cutting, I'm going to sand these so that they're smooth and clean, and I'm also gonna give them two coats of water-based polyurethane. Because of the way these are made with the wells, it's gonna be difficult to get in there afterwards with a brush uh, to finish them. I got both coats on both sides, and I left it to dry overnight. And while it's still up here, I'm gonna cut it into two pieces to make it more manageable to cut up on the table saw. And then the second sheet only needs to be done on one side. Okay, I got both sheets painted and both sheets cut in half. And now I can cut them into the size strips that I need on the table saw. I need to be careful here to make sure that I'm cutting out the right ones from the sheet that's painted on both sides. So I made a list that I'm following, and I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna cut out all those parts that I need from the two halves of that sheet, and then I can move on to cutting out the other parts that I need that only have to be done on one side from what's left over. Now with all the strips cut, I can start putting it together. And for that, I drew up an assembly diagram. <laughs> putting this together is kind of a puzzle, and it only took me two tries to get that right. Another thing I have to watch out for while I'm putting this together is that the finish is on the right side, on the pieces that are only finished on one side. That's the side, obviously, that faces out. Now here's where I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I design this. The typical quadratic diffuser is not made this way. It's made with all of the wells full depth and then the backs are just put in after to make them the right depth. However, that does waste a lot of material because they don't have to be full depth on the back. It's just the front of this thing that counts. That's what does the actual diffusion. So I size the parts to avoid all of that waste. And to put them together, I'm using one and a quarter inch 18 gauge brads. And I'm also using polyurethane construction adhesive. The advantage of this glue is it has a long open time. It'll stick to the parts that I already have finish on them. And also, since it's cold in my shop, that's not a problem for this glue. I'm gonna break in here for a second and tell you about the six week joinery challenge that's happening on the Makers Mob. All you need to do is click the link in the description below and you'll join the Samurai Carpenter as well as the rest of the Makers Mob community for the second annual joinery presentation. Over the course of six weeks, you'll learn five traditional joinery techniques. And then on the sixth week, follow along and build a final woodworking project that puts these five joints to work. Click the link in the description below to register and we'll see you there. Now that the three sub-assemblies are put together, I can fasten those to each other. And once again, I'm using the polyurethane construction adhesive as the glue and driving in the one and a quarter inch brads. Then I can carefully put it down on my workbench and lift it up a bit so that I can get the top and bottom panels put on. Now the piece that I'm putting on here is not wide enough to cover all of the wells. And that was intentional. Once again, I'm trying to save some material here. I'll just cover the back of the deepest wells with small blocks cut the size. And with all that done, I can stand it up again, just so that you guys can have a look at it. I wanted to have a look at it too, see how awesome it is. And then I put the second one together in exactly the same way and left them alone overnight to let the glue dry. Next morning, I brought them down to my basement where the first operation I need to do is bevel the front edges of these. 
Uh, I'm gonna leave the plywood exposed on this. That's part of the look I'm going for in the room. So I'm just running my trim router around with a chamfer bit to slightly chamfer it. And then I'm gonna do some sanding to level everything up and make it smooth before putting on two coats of water-based polyurethane. These get fastened in place with screws. I want all of this stuff to be removable in case I want to change something or, you know, make improvements, you know, take it out and refinish it or whatever. And that's what these blocks are for. And then I can take the panel and put it in place. And the opening that I'm putting it in is not square. It's down in my basement and nothing square down there. But the panel is, so I need to shim it up on one end to cheat that gap and to make them look right. I'm gonna cover that gap afterwards with a piece of trim. And then it's just a matter of driving in the four screws that will hold it in place. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, here's what they look like when they're finished. Like I said, this is part of a bigger project that I'm doing in my basement to acoustically treat it. And if you want to follow along with that a little bit more closely, you can go over to my speaker and audio channel. Once again, there's a link in the description that'll take you right there.